I'm Blue, welcome back to my channel. I have a little bit of a cold at the moment, so I sound manly and gross, but I'm pretty sure you'll be fine with it. I'm going to do a quick little blog about my first ever book launch, which was Lifelike by Jay Kristoff, and how I was completely awkward. So I was meant to go to the Lifelike launch in Melbourne, which was at Readings in Hawthorne um, with Fatima, but Fatima was unfortunately sick. So I awkwardly went by myself, and I'm generally an awkward person anyway. A lot of people that know me in real life know that I'm a little bit awkward, say stupid things, and mostly trip over nothing. So going into this event, I was like, all right, behave yourself, don't trip over, don't accidentally spit on someone, like, please be normal. Please be normal. So I was walking around aimlessly, <laughs> waiting for Roz to get there. And eventually I met Roz and a few of her friends, which are, they're really amazing. It was really exciting to meet bookstagrammers in real life. Uh, I've never been to a book signing, so I kind of stood at the back. And me being a little bit of a short ass when they sat down and Amy Kaufman was interviewing Jay Kristoff about this book. I couldn't see them because I'm really short. But it was really cool to actually meet him, except for the fact that he's absolutely amazing. He's like a god, right? He is a god. And I took in all my books and got them all signed and just stood there awkwardly smiling at him like this. It was so embarrassing, but he was really cool. He was really down to earth, and he's definitely one of my favorite authors and an author that you guys really need to meet. I could not have been more awkward in my entire life and I know next time prepare questions when you meet him so that way you don't look like such an idiot and such an awkward person just standing there like hey but no he was really really awesome he even posed for a photo with myself Roz and her group of friends and they were just amazing the whole experience was amazing I was a bit disappointed that they ran out of the map so I could actually get a hard copy of the maps but I did get some awesome bookmarks and I got some awesome bookmarks for Fatima and I cannot wait to go to the next launch and maybe not make so much of an awkward person situation again ever again so these are the books that I took in to get signed I have Obsidio and I already have that signed and to be honest, I was really grateful that I already had it signed because I was really nervous about if he asked me if I liked it or not. I didn't really like it. But Amy Kaufman was there, so she signed Illumine and Gemini, which was really, really cool. And she's hilarious. I really would like to be friends with her in real life. I think she'd be great fun. So I'm going to do like a quick little video and fast forward and go through his signatures. So that way you can see it too. Well, that's it for me today. I'm really sorry that this is such a short video and I don't talk a lot. I've got sick brain. My brain's not working. It's just like ooh, up there and I just sound so gross. Um, so two things we can pull away from this is just does not handle being sick very well at all. I'm kind of like a bit of a baby when I get sick. And two, Jay Kristoff is phenomenal he's such an amazing dude he's so laid back so chilled so if you get the chance to go and meet him then I highly suggest that you do it's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity and I cannot wait to go see him when the third Nevernight book comes out all right so that's all from me you guys have a great night bye I had it all in my head and now I've forgotten <laughs>